you played Counter-Strike, Half-Life, Team Fortress 2, and if you played for long enough, you probably got accustomed to hitting the tilde key on the disc. Typing in sensitivity, volume, binding jump to scroll wheel, unbinding all keys. U -N -B -I -N -D -A -L -L. He's stuck, I just found him, he's stuck, he typed it in. Pasting a crosser. What's this crosshair thing, dude? Are you sure this is right? Fucking hell. The fuck is this? What the fuck is this, dude? What's going on, Trent? Someone give me some dumb crosshair. What is this? Wait, wait what is the crosshair? It's, I don't know what, it's like, it's like Tekken or Tetris. I don't know what the hell this is. Tekken? How do I get this out of my screen? How do I reset, dude, slash reset crosshair? Enabling SV cheats and face it. Temporary who was streaming, he tried this exploit live because someone in chat told him that it worked. He tried it and it <gasps> worked. It he was very confused and surprised. Oh my God, it works. What do all these games have in common? Source. Achieved with source. But where did it come from? Doom, the revolutionary first person shooter developed and published by ID Software, played on every fucking device imaginable a microwave, a treadmill, an Apple Watch, vape, pregnancy test. The important part is the game's engine, ID Tech, also known as the Doom engine. Um, actually, Wolfenstein 3D oh was the first oh. game. Hell. It did not feature a developer console, but it went on to evolve into ID Tech 2, the Quake engine. I won't even bother reinstalling the Steam version, as I already got the speedrunner patch ready. Joe Quake. Thank you so much for the bits. Did you hear about Joe? Hear about Joe who? A Severian on the Oh line. shit! Quake is the genesis. Quake is the reason CS2 has a console, featuring a top-down slide animation available as a convenient tool for executing commands, variables, typing a command that doesn't exist, acts as chatting, no keyboard shortcuts, text selection, very bare bones. Half-Life Running on Gold Source, a heavily modified version of the Quake engine. Retail version build 738 here, maintain most of the Quake console, same top down animation, now with a different background, font, top completion with a Minecraft slash, unknown commands still type in chat, and we can see from the very beginning Valve's tendency of locking variables. Jumping to the speedrunner package, build 3248, the classic Gold Source console. It will be impossible to know which version actually reworked the console. 3248 is what we have publicly available. Complete overhaul resembling Windows, unlocked cursor, scroll wheel, drag border to resize, title bar to move around, snap to edges, click drag to select text, cut copy paste, control shift arrow keys, uh, Alt F4, typing an unknown command, now issues unknown command. Slash reset crosshair. Slash reset. Oh my god. And it seems like some minimize maximize functions never came to fruition. Being the successor to Gold Source, it inherited the same console, even the minimize maximize buttons, without snapping to edges anymore. Incredible new functionality, like the find flags command, I forgot to talk about these, but besides archive and cheat, they're pretty much insignificant. Pop quiz, which FOV command actually works? You don't know, I don't know, it's always a different one, and it's locked or hidden. Throughout source updates, there isn't much of a difference, maybe a color change. Valve excels at removing features. No more dragging the border to resize. Gotta use the bottom right corner. Shift tab doesn't work. Control shift arrow keys don't work. You can't undo, can't alt F4. What's improved? Different color text. Right click does more than copy now. Variables use true false. Back to Minecraft, I guess. I believe I covered most of the major changes. If I missed anything relevant, let me know. Qetix out.